Tori, Jade, Tori and Jade, Jory, whatever you want to call them. These frenemies have seen their fair share of ups and downs. Wait, are we friends? We're not even friends! Here's the full story of how Jade and Tori became best frenemies. And I thought we were just starting to be friends. Let's kick it back to the beginning, when Jade and Tori first met. It wasn't exactly an ideal start to a friendship, and Tori would learn that the last thing anyone should do is rub Jade the wrong way. Why are you rubbing my boyfriend? <laughs> I just, I spilled coffee on... Get Lisa. away from him! Jade's jealousy got the best of her, which caused some serious tension between Tori and Jade. But what better way to cool the heat than with a big old cup of iced coffee? What's the prop? Dog. Woof. That was totally uncalled for. Tori wouldn't let a little caffeine ruin her new high school experience, though. Instead, she decided to hit Jade where it really hurt. Kiss me. Let's do it. The lines were drawn, and these two would continue down frenemy lane. I can't wait for our fight. Scene. When Jade and Tori were chosen as partners to act in a fight scene, things inevitably went south. Ow! Let me see, let me see. Okay? No, Tori hit me in the face for real. No, I didn't. Tell that to my bloody eye. I don't know. Looked a little suspicious, don't you think? Probably because Tori never actually hit Jade. Shocker. Either way, Tori still had to pay for her actions, even if she didn't really do them. So, you're just gonna let me get away with it. You took detention and a lower grade, and you're scraping crusty pudding off the wall on a Friday night just so I won't get in trouble? Pretty much. Well, you can't be nice to me when I've been mean to you. That's not how it works. Well, then try being nice to me sometime. Maybe that'll work. Now, go play. I gotta scrape this onion dip off the wall. Or onion pus. <laughs> When all hope seemed lost, Jade surprised us all by putting the friend in frenemy. The back and forth between these two would continue, with Tori constantly coming to Jade's aid. We saw it first when Jade and Beck broke up, with Tori coming to the rescue and saving the relationship. You love me again. I said I stopped. Then we saw it again when Jade needed help getting her play produced. How much do you think it really cost to produce your play? I don't know, two, three grand? Okay, well then it shouldn't be that hard to find someone to put up the money. You'd really find me someone to put up the money to produce my play? I meant that- Hey! <laughs> Did she not say? It shouldn't be that hard to find someone to put up the money. Jeez. Uh, uh, like that. So you'll do that, right? Sure. <laughs> Good. Jade, who's usually ungrateful when it comes to Tori's kindness, couldn't resist feeling the love after getting her dad's approval on her play, all because of Tori. I thought it was excellent. Thanks. Anything else? Would you please take that jewelry out of your face? <laughs> no. Bye. Bye. Well, get what you wanted? Mm hmm I've never seen him look that happy before. <laughs> Come on, give Tori a squeeze. A truly groundbreaking moment in this duo's dynamic. It was a hug the entire world embraced. But naturally, it didn't last very long. I'm gonna count to 10, and then I'm gonna... I'm sure it can be argued that Jade was just trying to help Tori conquer her fear of falling. But did that push seem a little too diabolical? Especially with Jade's jealousy looming in the dark, ready to spark at any moment. Did you get the lead? I don't think she got it. So who's playing Susie? Me. 
Yikes. This definitely wouldn't go over well with Jade, especially since she was cast as Tori's understudy. What's an understudy? Oh, man. <laughs> um, an understudy is like a backup actor. So if you get sick or something, your understudy takes over for your part in the play. Yeah. Yeah, if you get sick or go missing or get hit by a bus. Sure, Tori and Jade are frenemies, but Jade wouldn't go as far as physically harming Tori in any way, right? Or perhaps that earlier pushing premonition was onto something. I wonder who would have sent me flowers. Oh, Tori, those are bush daisies! What's <laughs> up? I am way allergic to bush daisies. Like, if I get anywhere near them, my whole face starts swelling up and I start sweating and shaking. Well, who would have sent you bush daisies? I don't know. Or maybe I do. How did you know I was allergic to bush daisies? I do my research. <laughs> you looked up my medical records? I'll answer that right after you stick your face in those bush daisies. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm doing this play. I auditioned, I got the lead, and I'm doing it. I don't care what you do. All right. Wow, that's some next level enemy stuff. And for a while, it seemed as though that's how Jory would stay. Jade is a mean, vicious person with deep psychological problems. The tension between these frenemies had reached a boiling point. But what's a true friendship without its ups and downs? When Tori and Jade were cast in a play as husband and wife, they had no choice but to get along. I guess some people might say that from certain angles, you're pretty. You could say I'm pretty. You are pretty. Though forced together, Tori and Jade were starting to see eye to eye. Just in time, too. I bet we got us a couple of songbirds here, huh? You guys sing songs? Sing us a song. Yeah, we want to hear a little songy song action. <laughs> they want to hear a little songy song action. I am not your missing link. Let me tell you what I think. I think you could use a man. Awesome is it seeing Tori and Jade come together despite their differences. And it would only get better once Jade finally realized just how much Tori had her back. Uh, oh, you. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm sorry. I I didn't I didn't mean to. No, 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 you 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 didn't. You Then why can't we kiss? Cause of Jade. Jade and I broke up. Yeah, but kissing your friend's ex-boyfriend? Wait, I mean... wait, wait. When are you and Jade friends? Last week, she took your hamburger, she just rubbed it against her bare foot. What? I ate feet meat? <laughs> and she took your spot in the Platinum Music Awards. Look, I mean, I guess Jade and I aren't really Friends, friends, but we're kind of friends, I think. And kissing her ex-boyfriend? I can't do that to a friend. After seeing this act of courage and loyalty, Jade hung up her jealousy and decided to give Tori a chance, allowing these frenemies to become friends. Everyone else was coming to cheer you on, so I figured I would too. And you look way better in that than I would have. <laughs> this isn't right. Yeah, it is a little tight around no. you. No. <laughs> Not the stupid outfit. This. Me. I don't. This is supposed to be your night. This was your big chance. So for me to go out there and. And I can't do that to a friend. Or even to you. From then on out, Jade and Tori continued down the path of friendship with a few classic friendly jabs here and there. I wasn't done talking! I was done listening. These frenemies have been through the ringer, but at the end of the day, their bond is so strong, not even a pair of scissors can tear Jory apart, no matter how hard they might try. Do you have your new scissors with you? No.
Those are my old scissors.